Hello, welcome back to Blue Harvest Toys. On this toy hunt, uh, I started off, it's a few, over a few days this one, I started off in b and uh, went to look at the, the Hot Wheels cars and they did have a new range in there, they did have a restock, so I went th through all the cars, every single one, <laughs> even the ones at the top, I stood on a Dalek and I got a bit, uh, bit told off by the staff. Anyway, the, I saw this, this is a... Uh, it's supposed to be a treasure hunt, a super treasure hunt, but it doesn't have a TH on the on the um, the side of the van. It is exactly the same, it's same colour, everything's exactly the same as a treasure hunt, but um, it doesn't say TH on it, and I didn't pick it up. This is what I did pick up, uh, the Enterprise and the Mex Jet. Uh, I went into the charity shops and saw a lot of cards, I was selling a lot of cards off, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. So there was about 20 quid worth of um, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards there. And then I go on to the Pokemon cards and there was a lot more. They wanted like, you can see there like £8 and different, you can't see, you couldn't see what cards there were, what you were buying. So it's like a, a real, a real shot in the dark as to what you're going to get. But um, the guy there did show me some of the cards that he did pick out. Um, they did have some Japanese Pokemon cards and these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So if anybody sees anything that they're interested in there, I'll go back and get those. They, I think he did pull, pull them out of his own collection, but for his own collection, that's what the guy does in there. And he does seem to put common cards in the packets, so that's why I didn't pick any up. I'd like to go and get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, actually. File card there. So there we go, those are the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that he did. Let me see out of his own collection. So right, we're going into Forbidden Planet now. There's the sale section which has expanded. They seem to be downsizing their Star Wars a lot. There's not a lot off those those prices that um, US Agent, it's down to 13, it's probably the, one of the best deals they have there. But uh, as you see, as you can see there, they are downsiz downsizing their Star Wars section. There's a Geralt, the Witcher Geralt, um, which one I didn't, I don't want that one. And the Gaskier just doesn't look like him. There's a Joker, Mortal Kombat Joker, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's uh, Gerald and Roach on Fungo Pop. Here we've got a platinum, couple of platinum edition McFarlane's, which were quite interesting. There's the, the Bat Bike, the Batman Bike, pretty cool. Some of the Batman figures that one I was really tempted by. Not so much that one, it looks like an emo Batman. <laughs> yeah, Zoe Kravitz um, Catwoman figure, which I would really like. Some really nice DC figures there, doing really well. The Joker's really nice. And then we go on to the Marvel. They have some on some on sale. Just a lot of Marvels on sale, but uh, they do have the new Doctor Strange wave, which is cool. About the twenty-five pound, twenty-six pound, whatever they are. It's just no. I've given up on those. I bet I'm quite tempted at a couple of them, but um, not at the moment. Oh, that Lo Lady Loki is pretty cool. I would like to get that. The retro carded are really nice. And they, are, they were restocking at the time, so there's plenty of boxes in there. So there's the Iron Man. Yeah, there's the droids that I do pick up. I did pick it up and put it back and then pick it up again. But yeah, this just uh, all the new wave coming in on the boxes. See, they're doing them in, in shipper boxes. One character in one shipper box, which is... It's why you've seen a lot more on the shelves. 
Uh, we're going to the slimed Ghostbusters there, which is nice. They do glow in the dark, but uh, I've got the original, so I, there's no there's no point in getting those as well. A few of the Rangers there. Lots of He-Man. Here's another uh, box I did find that hasn't been put on the shelf of the Revan. And the retro symbiote Spider-Man. Lots of NECA in there, as usual. NECA seems to be coming over here quite a bit now. He couldn't he couldn't get it for loving them on it a few a couple of years back, but now you can get them nearly everywhere. Two Jaws items on there. You're going back I'm going back to the um, the section because it was filling it up and they filled it up with those silly bloody lightsabers. Why Forbidden Planet have got those lightsabers, I don't know. So I'm going to HMV now. Uh, obviously I've had to uh, turn down the volume because of the the songs in there. I did well last time in the last video. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's get to this section. Look at this. We've got lots of new retro 3.75 which are very cool. Retro 6 inch as well. 30% off the Eternals. I think you're going to have to come down a bit more than that, but never mind. <laughs> the other legends are not. The new ones there are cheaper than Forbidden Planet, so glad I didn't get them there. Uh, oh, look at that! Mokachan, we'll have that. We'll have that. There's only two of them, two of the same. And uh, yes, I do have that. I get that. Thank you very much. Not that one, I put that one back because the card is a bit damaged. There's the Tam Tamagotchi R2D2s. I ran quite tempted at those, but um, how long will they last as a, as a fad? I don't know. If anybody needs any of those, let me know. It's not 10 99 for that, but as you can see, I do get the other one because the other one was a better card. Uh, we do have some more, a lot of Marvel in there, a lot of DC. Uh, slightly cheaper than, as I said, down at Forbidden Planet. Fifteen ninety nine for the TVC, which is not a bad price. Again, cheaper than Forbidden Planet, but I'll stop saying that. <laughs> some nice TVC there. So yes, I do compare the bows there for five pound extra you're getting a more realistic book jam but uh, I think the retro is more sought after and that's when I see do see the crease on the card so I do get the other one <laughs> I could have got the both I could have got them both but I thought no I'll leave it on leave it on the peg before somebody else to come and get Yeah, there's just just all, all sorts crammed in there, and I, w I was looking to see if the the I have I, I'm a Goto, I'm a I'm a Agamotto, sorry, God, I can't speak. It was see if that was cheaper, and it wasn't. There's the Hydro Stumper. I'm hoping those will go in the sale at some point, and then maybe I would pick that up. But uh, let's say I've, I've I've stopped getting the Marvel Legends as much. I'm just going more more vintage and more usual stuff. This is OK Comics. Uh, I did mention them last time as where well, I got the um, Crimson Rain 1 and 2. So I went to see if they had number 3. I'm tempted to get the War of the Bounty Hunters. Um, I think it's 18 99 for the first five issues. So I do want to get caught up on that. Um, very friendly people in here, very nice shop. Uh, up to date comics. There's you go, the Crimson Rain, number two. I've already got two and number one. But, as you can see, varying cover, which is £20. If I hadn't bought the R2D2, I probably would have picked that up. Because, simply because of the picture on the front. The Kira, really Clark picture on the front is outstanding. And yes, 
I uh, very tempted to get that, but I didn't pick it up. I'll show you what I picked up at the end of this video. Now we're going to Cosmic Toys and um, I'm going through the vintage Star Wars that he picked up. Almost a full run of vintage Star Wars here. Max Rebo Band only missing the flute and the blue on that Max is one of the bluest I've ever seen. So we're going to go through all the figures. I think there's about three missing from a full line. Uh, most of them, 90% of them have their weapons. As you can see, I think there's Warwick missing. Um, a Jawa, I think as well. And the original R2-D2 and 3PO, because the collector didn't realize that they'd done the original ones. I don't know. <laughs> so Yoda's not got his belt, but uh, he's got his stick and his snake. There is the one that the collector thought was the original 3PO. The rubble lips. The gonk droid needs his, his um, antenna put him back in. And his feet are a bit uh, worn, which is unusual because this set, this collection is damn on mint. The limbs are all stiff. It's very little paint wear, if, if any at all. These are not being played with. I'm surprised that they've even opened them, to be honest with you. They've not been played with at all. I don't know where they've been stored because they've not been in a box together because you get them rubbing against each other. There's no discoloration. There's, there's a bit of um, paint wear, like on the boots on there for the type pilot and uh, but as I say all the limbs all the limbs stiff I think there's a bit of wear on the R2-D2 sticker but look at that that's near on mint best spin look it's just what a fantastic fantastic collection of figures and they will be on sale once he prices them up over at Cosmic Toys, www.cosmictoys.co.uk, or you can just pop in the shop. I did price them up for him, I did value them, but um, I averaged the price and then he's going to put um, what he thinks as well. I mean, he, he's selling them, he knows he knows what he wants for them, he knows what he paid for them, basically. But I'm just giving him the, the, um, the average price what you would pay right now for these and with them being mint it's usually that these they're all going to be the top end i said that the, the sticker on that is is worn because it that was the only probably figure that they've got played with it always it looks like that was the only figure they got played with i think it was four snow troopers i mean look at the the death star droid look at that the paintwork on that even the limbs are quite stiff on that, and they never are. The Boba Fett, I valued that £100, £80 to £100, because there's no paint loss on the chest. Um, as I said, most of these have got, have got the accessories as well. Solid cheeks, same person, unfortunately, but it's there. Just stiff limbs. Two Greedos, both with uh, weapons. And again, both stiff and not played with the, the antennas. The antennas are still on. And this, um, the gold painters have rubbed off on that, which you always find on the white best guard. The black best guard, you don't usually get, get paint loss on that. But the, you'll see the one that comes up. I think the gold has just disappeared as, as it does with the Bespin layer the gold it seems to have disappeared not being rubbed off because it's just gone it's all gone it either wasn't there in the first place which it, we know it was but it's just gone I mean how often do you see a white a whitey white Stormtrooper like that this is one of the best. I've 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 valued a lot of uh, 
vintage Star Wars collections, and this, I can say, is probably the best one I have, I have valued. That's not being carded. A loose collection. That is just by far the best collection, and it's available for you if you need any of these. Get in touch with Gareth down at Cosmic Toys. Now there are a few he's going to send for grading, um, which I he's separated them. I'll show them in a bit. But look, <laughs> they're all all got the weapons. They're, they're mint. I mean, making off you're on the full collection if you want. <laughs> that hammerhead was the best hammerhead I've seen. The head on the hammerhead is always loose, floppy. That wasn't. Everything was stiff. That was one of the best layers I've seen. The the under the arm of the the cape was torn. There's a bit of a blemish on it, but that was probably there was no paint loss on the head on the hair. The blaster was there, black blaster. There you go. That's that's the uh, the back westing guard with the uh, the gold paint loss. It was just it was just a thrill to go through all these. White. Luke. Got his tip taken off, but he does have another Luke with the tip. I think there's one Jabba's gun that doesn't have his weapon because he's taken the weapon and given it to Yak first. Which is, is this prerogative? The Actifest didn't always come with a weapon, didn't come with a weapon in the UK, so it probably doesn't have the weapon, uh, but it's the same weapon as Nikto, I think it is, on top of my head. And look, there's no paint loss whatsoever on these figures. They are outstanding. Outstanding. And these are from the guy's childhood collection. Well, he didn't play with them by the look of it. <laughs> yeah, Dengar. Uh, whatever. <laughs> another snow trooper. Another snow trooper. I said there's about four. I think it's four snow troopers. But again, the, the minty white. White as you can. as the snow. Basically. <laughs> the Gamma Guard is not. is not uh, mint. It obviously played with that. The horns. It's paint loss on the horns, but you've got the axe with it. Yeah. Well, rest man. Proof face! Fall on. Again, good. Good gun. Great condition. Speeder bike. It does have the flaps, so it's, it's completely just have the flaps. Admiral. Now that's that's a good condition. The the, the stick is peeling away at the other corner, but you can always stick that down. The that is a good, really good condition. R five. Suckers. Luke. Stiff limbs again. Totally stiff limbs. FX seven. With the arm intact. That driver with again white. One T-bow with without helmet, without hat, helmet, whatever you want to call it. But there is one that's complete as well. There's two. Is this the uh, multiples of certain figures? Two squid heads. Two. Uh, look at the hair on the layer. That again is as mint as you'll get it. And Orlando. Total stiff limbs. Wicket. Chew it. Perfect. So we're going to look through. These are the ones that he is going to get graded. So you've got Yak Face. And he's put the staff with Yak Face. There's no no paint loss on the Yak Face. Look at the dome on that. The, yes, this sticker is not the best, but it's... You're talking £500 for that, at least. EV? Yes, loose limbs. 
always have, but it's as good as you'll get it. A man, a man. No cracks on the staff. Imperial gunner with the gun. I, I don't tell you how much these are worth. <laughs> even 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 the air wing pilot with the with the blaster. Imperial dig with no nose rub. Look at that, no nose rub. Top end grade for that. And there is the Luke with the correct blaster. And I did check to see if it was a legit helmet. Which it is, because it's got the circle inside. And Barada, perfect condition. And then finally, we've got Honey Cabinite. So there's the Enterprise that I picked up. There's my Enterprise shelf, Star Trek shelf. So what I did pick up, I've got this with a couple of pocket pocketeers. I'll be talking more about those later, but it is the original jigsaw. Uh, it's still in the bag. There's still the bag there, which is pretty cool. Uh, picked up Hero from Cosmic Toys. Very, very nice. Try and get the lost lot of those. I did see some of those in Night Collectibles last week. But that was a bit cheaper. There, I did pick up the Batman bike, which is really cool. That is so cool. That was from Forbidden Planet. Also from Forbidden Planet was the droids. From Cosmic Toys, I got the Boba Fett. And he did gift me, as I did value those figures for him, the whole run of Superman 78. And I've got two comics to read and it's absolutely fantastic. Still waiting for the last two issues of Batman 89. These came out after, but they're finished before Batman 89. Um, from HMV, you get the retro book down. Another postal thing is the British toy business has a history since 1700. I've read the first chapter and I'm really, it's really interesting. Um, I'm not so sure if I'll do a video about it, but maybe. Maybe I'll do a book review on that. But Cosmic Toys, I've got this bad boy boxed. Absolutely fantastic. The missiles still working there, both sides. The engine comes up and that that shoots out. Um, that shoots up. There's a, a, a skull thing missing from there, which I'm going to try and find. But it is in really condi good condition. Spawn. I've never had this is a fun first spawn vehicle or anything. Spawn anything I've ever had. And it is from Top Toys. Top Toys, Tom McFarlane. McFarlane Toys. I didn't know they were called Top Toys. And lastly, Kenneth has gifted us this Mandalorian armourer to give away to the members. So we go. CosmicToys.co.uk If you like any of those figures, um, please contact him. He does have some modern wonders. Comic, he's a comic star, but um, he does have modern stuff, vintage stuff, and um, excellent giveaways to give to us. So there you go. If you're interested, any of them vintage figures as well, they will be priced up. So there you go. Nice little haul this week. So thank you for watching, until the next toy hunt, until the next video, may the toys be with you.